Hey everyone, so welcome back. Today I had a few minutes to spend uh, doing my makeup, so I thought we would do it together. And I am in the process of kind of moving stuff in my everyday makeup drawer and pulling stuff out. And I figured that I had quite a bit of stuff coming in, so why not make a video of it, show you guys some of the new items that I want to be testing out myself, showing you guys some of the new primers, foundations, concealers, we've got it all. I'm gonna show you guys everything that we're trying out, see what's going on. If you guys are ready for this, then let's get to it. So this is something that came in my subscription boxes a while ago. The one I'm using now, I feel as though it's not hydrating enough. This here really does a great job. This is the Saturday Skin Vitamin C Bright Eye. Really am enjoying that. While I let that settle, I'm just gonna go in really quickly with this Kimchi Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. I have had to use a matte setting spray here the last couple of weeks or so because the weather right now is kind of, it's very dewy out. It's not necessarily warm, so it just feels icky, you know? And I feel like when that happens, my skin gets really oily and like I just, it feels gross and I always wanna pull my hair back, hence why my hair is pulled back. This is hopefully gonna help keep my, my skin a little bit more matte. Oh my gosh, I already feel like my face is already matte. I can like tightening. Smashbox did send over a collection of their primers. So this one here is normally the one I use, which is their Smooth and Blur, but there are quite a few different options here. We're gonna do these two. I'm gonna take the corrector first, and I'm just gonna put the primer right here, right in the center. I wanna try this mattifying one. Down my nose, right here on my cheek, or my chin, um, and right around my lips. This one is a little bit more hydrating, which is nice. And I have been on a kick with just using the Flawless Finish Foundation. This, we are not gonna use this alone. Today we're gonna be using the Bite Change Maker. This is the Micellar Foundation. This one here is in the shade M90, but because it's so dark, I can't use it alone. And I don't want to use it alone yet. I want to see if it does anything to this foundation because this one, if you apply powder, can get a little heavy, but it's a good one. So really quickly, I forgot that I also have this benefit. This is the Bright On Concealer, an under eye concealer, um, and I have the shade Melon. I actually think I should apply that underneath my eyes. It's supposed to help brighten, color correct, and help seal in hydration. Looks just like the Boing Concealer, but just a little bit thinner. We're just gonna use our fingers to blend this out. Um, I'm just reading the little card that it sent. It says that it's a lightweight serum-like formula to help seal in the hydration. I am so terrible at blending stuff out with my fingers. Like, I just don't feel like it looks good on me. I remember when they did that finger challenge and you were using their fingers to like do everything. I did not do that challenge because I knew I would suck at it like really bad. Like, I just have never been good at using my fingers. Like, I just don't feel like it looks good. So I'm just gonna go in. I like to focus mostly on my cheek area and then kind of leave everything else a little bit more bare. I'm using this um, Araceli sponge. I believe I got this in a box and it has trumped all of my other sponges that I normally use. I absolutely adore this sponge. I'm like looking at this foundation because I feel like it's cracking. Like anywhere that I applied the mattifying primer, I think it was actually the foundation was drying so quickly. Yeah, I think we're fine, okay. It's like it's not sitting in the skin, it's like sitting on top of the skin. And I will be concealing. I'm gonna be going in with the Catrice a True Skin High Cover Concealer, and I use the shade Warm Macadamia. I also am going to go in and just chisel out my nose really quick. I do go in with the Fenty Beauty uh, macchiato. I've been using this Catrice concealer for a couple of weeks now. Fine, but it's not one that I use for like if I'm working. I will say that using the under eye corrector really helps brighten up that under eye area. Oh my gosh, something smells Nova. I think my dog just farted because it stinks in here. Holy cow, it smells like somebody just poop themselves. All right, so now that I've cleared it, that was strong. Uh, we're moving into setting underneath the eyes. I do have the one size ultimate setting powder from Patrick Star. I'm a little bit nervous to use this one, quite honestly, because I know that this is probably going to 
locked in place. I'm gonna let this set for a second. I just kind of want to bake it only because I want to know if it'll bake really well. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm just setting my brows now with my brow setter and I'm also have already finished a applying my bronzer and contour. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this Kinship. This is the Super Melt Vegan Lip Jelly Mask to my lips. I'm gonna be taking this palette by Ofra Cosmetics. Uh, this was the one that we just opened in our unboxing. And I'm going to take a combination of this one and this one. Super pigmented, so just be extra careful. And yes, it looks like it's really intense right now, but by the time we get to the end of this video, and by the time I get to the car, it will probably almost fade away. Hopefully not, hopefully not, but most of my blushes tend to do that. I'm just gonna go over it one more time with my bronzer brush, just to make sure everything's blended. I'm also gonna highlight my face. I don't wanna forget to do that. I have not seen any good new highlighters that I've been into. What highlighter would you guys recommend? I have not seen anything I like. Right now, I'm just using my good old Dandelion by Benefit. Today's eyeshadow look is actually gonna be using the Natasha Denona. This is the Cupid palette. Hi, Nova. Hi, pretty girl. Are you gonna come down here and snuggle with me? She loves me so much. I've been using this every day. I use the three matte shades in here, and I've been using this lighter shade right on the lid. Although I have not really played with this more deeper copper tone. So my thought process is to take these darker colors and kind of create like a more of a rounded eye and then take this for all over the eye. I'm really just gonna use three brushes today. I'm gonna take Nude Vino and I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. Really wanting to also make sure I get right here on the inner corner. Normally in the mornings I only have about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes to get ready. And that's kind of like broken apart in between getting the kids up and moving them around because I have two different schools that my kids go to. So they start at different times. But when I come back and I have to do an eye look, this is so easy to slap on. And Natasha Denona shadows are just, they're so good. They really are worth the money. Like I remember when I first came out and I struggled with the idea of spending that much money on an eyeshadow palette. And now when I see her eyeshadow palettes and I see the prices, I'm like, yeah, I'd spend the money on that. Like, I know it's gonna be good. It's a great, great palette. This one usually comes off pretty warm. So I'm actually gonna take this one for the lower lash line and I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is Shell. And I'm gonna be taking it on this BK Beauty brush. This is 202. Kind of making like a rainbow on my eye. Told you, see how easy it is? I like to start closest to the eyelid and then I just kind of blend it upward. Let's take this shade right here. This is probably the least used shade for me in terms of mattes, and I'm just gonna run it along the lash line. I'm gonna take my finger, and I'm just gonna take this copper shade. I'm gonna take Clove. I was talking to somebody about this not long ago. I will watch her Instagram and watch her do videos of like makeup looks and stuff, and when she starts doing eyeshadow looks, Natasha Denona, by the way, in case anybody's wondering who I'm talking about. When she starts eyeshadow looks, I'm always impressed because my first thought is, that is gonna look terrible. Like, I don't know what you're doing, but that does not look good. And then halfway through, I'm thinking, holy cow, this is the most beautiful look I've ever seen in my life. She will take something and make it look crazy when it starts and have it, so incredibly gorgeous by the end of the look. She's got magic in her hands, y'all. We're gonna do a little baby wing, a baby wing. It's been a while since I've done a baby wing, so let's do one. I did finish off with some lashes and I applied a little bit of mascara. I did use the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, such a good one. This is my second tube. But we are just gonna finish off with the lips and today I wanna be using the Evio Beauty Creamy Lip Liner. I believe I have the shade Val. I kind of wanna do something pinky, so that's why I went with this shade. And then I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Lipstick in Appy. And then to finish off, I'm gonna go in with the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Gloss. This is just a clear gloss. 
And I'm just gonna apply this again. Set everything one more time with the setting spray we used in the beginning. Everything that you guys saw in this video is actually gonna go into my everyday makeup drawer. If you guys wanna see that and what I keep in my everyday makeup drawer, I will be more than happy to show you guys. We used to do those a lot. I used to do like my monthly everyday makeup basket. Um, I kind of stopped doing them just because I felt like I wasn't really changing a whole lot. Although if that is something you guys want me to show you guys, I will definitely do that. This is already starting to peek through poop. But aside from that, everything else that I've tried on, I'm very happy about. And I'm very, very happy that I didn't have to set my face, which is normally not something I do. So we'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit nervous though, because today it's a very gloomy day. It's very rainy and wet outside, um, which just means that my face is probably going to uh, hopefully not be super nasty, but thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys haven't seen my latest unboxing, some of those products that I used today were in this unboxing. I will link it right here. I will see you guys all in my next video and make sure to hit that subscribe button before you check out. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. Bye.